complications of both radial and ulnar fractures may be due to the fracture itself or due to the treatment of the fracture okay it can be early or late complications early complications like nerves and vessels injury by the fracture or the iatrogenically by the procedure taken posterior interosseous nerve is the most common common to be affected by fracture to both radia and ulna okay the posterior interosseous nerve lies just below the superficial part of the supinator muscle this is the superficial part of the supinator and the posterior interosseous nerve lies below it the symptom or symptoms of the posterior interosseous nerve entrapment is numbness pain in the fingers and eventually the posterior interosseous nerve pulse which is fingers drop fingers drop because the posterior interosseous nerve supplies the uh, extensors of fingers radial artery and ulnar artery are the most common vessels to be injured by fracture uh, to radia and ulna and this is by logic very important early complication of arm and leg fracture is what we call compartment syndrome compartment syndrome and what really happens is that we have in our forearm groups of organs muscles blood vessels and nerves okay and soft tissues that organized into areas called compartments compartments Okay. these compartments are enclosed by a strong web of connective tissue called fascia fascia forming the wall of the compartment the white thing here is the fascia that enclose the compartment of the arm forming the wall of the compartment what happens is after an injury a blood and edema fluid from inflammation or injury may accumulate in the compartment the accumulation in the compartment with the tough fascia that cannot easily expand results in increased pressure in the compartment the this increasing pressure will lead to compressing blood vessels and nerve supply in the compartment and that this will cause severe tissue damage as a result of the ischemia okay so the muscles will swallow the, we will have edema and blood that will uh, and the fascia is not to be expanded then the blood vessels and the nerves will be compressed leading to ischemia and damage to the tissues of the forearm and Pulsing, of course, of the nerves, etc. Okay, it's a very serious and important complication, early complication. The what we have to do in this case is fasciotomy. We have to release the fascia that is not to be uh, expanded. Okay, we have to release it to allow the muscles and the expanded tissue in there to release and to make the blood supply and the nerve supply to the forearms forearm better okay so fasciotomy is the solution of this complication late complications of course like uh, malunion or non-union of the bones mal union or non union as we can see here uh, uh, wrong union of the bones or failure of union infections of and vessels injury uh, from the plates or procedure is also a possible late complication so the complications are early and late early and late any complication like posterior interosseous nerve injury, fingers drop, 
radial and ulnar artery injury, compartment syndrome, of course, late complications like mal or non-union and infection, vessels injury and damage from the blade. Okay, these are the complications of both radial and ulnar uh, fracture. See you in the next video. Thank you.